Welcome back, Life With Us TV, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, did you just get an itinerary change? Or have you been researching whether or not you should go to Bimini Bahamas? In this video, we are gonna tell you what it is to do in Bimini Bahamas, how to get around in Bimini Bahamas, what's the atmosphere like, and who is the ideal person to go to Bimini Bahamas. Well, make sure you stick around uh, towards the end because we're going to tell you about our experience and what we recommend you do in Bimini. Let's get into it. Yeah. So first, who is this for? Realistically, this is for someone who is your typical beach bum. Like this is the day that you want to chill out, yeah. relax. You want to take in the island vibes. You don't want to be harassed while you're on the island just trying to do your thing. It's more like I've done everything I need to do. This is my chill day, my beach day. The yes. day I just want to be like woosa. Yeah, your R&R &R day. Yes. Rest and relaxation, mm -hmm. right? So now that you've heard about who is the ideal person to go to Bimini Bahamas, what is there to do? Yeah, man. The first thing that you are going to do, you're on this beautiful island. What you going to do? You're going to the beach. So with Carnival, they do have two different beach um, package options right now, as of right, right now. now. Yes. One of them is called the 360 Beach. And the way that they package them, they package them for two people. So two people only have to buy one excursion. So with the 360 Beach, you get two beach chairs, one umbrella, and each person gets a alcoholic rum punch or a non-alcoholic beverage yep. when you step into the Beach 360. The second beach package that the Carnival offers is called Paradise Beach with snorkel gear. So that includes also the two beach chairs and the umbrella and you get snorkel gear with this package. And also they have a free beach option. Of course, it's not gonna be listed on Carnival because what? But yeah. anyway, <laughs> so if you continue to ride the tram Tell them to take you to the free beach. They will do so. Of course, the amenities are <laughs> nothing. But if you want to have a great time, I suggest doing like the 360 Beach or the Paradise Beach yes. option because that's where everyone is. Especially if you need some shade because you go to the free beach, there is no free shade. So you're going to still have to end <laughs> up paying for chairs and umbrellas. So right. you might as well do the 360 Beach or the Paradise Beach. Exactly. In our opinion. In but our it's opinion. up to you. Yeah, no, we, we just been there. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know, we, if you if you heard our horror story video, we tried to go to a free beach in um, Nassau <laughs> and that didn't work out too well. So free ain't always good. Bimini Bahamas is known for its crystal clear water. With that, Carnival does have shark excursions where you can go. They usually give you a rum punch, some water, some snorkel gear, and mm -hmm. you can go down and see. You can't touch the sharks, but you can go down there and pretty much be in their atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't if doing that's all you, If you love that, Take advantage of them, man. Take advantage. <laughs> <laughs> also, the next thing they have you can do is that you can always go on an excursion to see the stingray. I love stingrays. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so with that, they give you rum punch and a bottle of water as well. So if you're into stingrays, they got it for you, man. Also, you can just do some straight up snorkeling excursions. They have one at Carnival where you can go down and see the shipwreck swim through the shipwreck, which I've seen videos of is pretty cool. It includes rum punch, bottled water, and of course the snorkel gear. Or bring your own snorkel gear and do it for free on the beach. The next thing they have is called an eco comp cruise that you can do. That also includes your bottled water and your rum punch. So if you into that, Check that out too, man. You might even get lucky and see some of the locals bringing up some comp that's yeah. gonna be later fried or ceviche. That would be nice too, man. Cause you, if you ain't never had comp before, you missing your whole life, I'm telling you. Unless you're allergic. The next thing you can do is you can go jet skiing. This is not something that's listed as of yet on Carnival's website, but while we were there, they were definitely offering that as an excursion. Just walk up to them, get it, and they were having a ball. Like there were a group of girls that kind of stayed with us our entire cruise and they went jet skiing and it was like, y'all, y'all missed it. Yeah, man. It was the best thing ever. The next thing they have there you can do is you can go to the casino. When we was there, we did not go to the casino, right. but some people said that it was nice, but it was kind of small. 
but it's a casino. So if you like to gamble, you can definitely go there while you're in Bimini and have yourself a good time, man. The next thing you can do is you can shop. Like you cannot be on an island and be able to get away from buying something. At least we can. But there will be opportunities where you can do that. You can shop. If you didn't know by now, I'm about to tell you. I'm also a travel agent. So if you need someone to book your cruise or you got a little group cruise going on, I'm your girl. Yes, indeed. www.codefuntravel. That'll be all linked below. And also, I'm getting this question a lot. I've already booked my cruise, but I still need help. I can take over your booking under certain circumstances. Just email me at codefuntravel at gmail.com. I got you. Yes, indeed. So now that you've heard who Bimini Bahamas is for, what is there to do? Who may not enjoy Bimini Bahamas? If you are a person that gets off and you just want to do extreme things, like you want to hike up a mountain or you want to, like for instance, if you're in Jamaica and you want to do bobsledding and things like that, this is a true beach island type of, ex of port day. Yeah. Like there isn't much to do that's going to give you that adrenaline rush that you're probably looking for. So if that's what you're looking for, it may not be the ideal right. port stop for you, or it can be a combination of those two types of port stops. All right, the next thing that we wanna talk about is how do you get around in Bimini Bahamas? As you see, we're gonna be real right here, but we were able to get right off of the cruise ship, walk down a few hundred feet, and you can get straight onto the tram. The yep. tram takes you around the island for free, and it does like a rotation probably every 15 to 30 minutes. You get on, get off. You can hop on at one destination, get off at the other. You can pretty much roam the island via the tram. Yes. That includes a casino drop off, pick back up. They'll drop you off at the Hilton Hotel if you wanted to do like a, a day of staycation, day there or something like yep. that, a day pass there. Very convenient. Very. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, the next way you can get around is the tram can take you to the golf carts that you that are not free. Right. So just in case you, you know you want to roam the island by yourself and roll around, you can rent a golf cart and mm -hmm. have yourself a good time. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I'm thinking about doing that the next time we go, is, you know, so we can see more of the island because we was hung up on the 360 beach. The next thing, what is the atmosphere like in Bimini Bahamas? I will tell you, Bimini Bahamas is like that very carefree place. Like, have you ever been where you just flew to a destination and you got off and you just felt like everything in the world wasn't in worry anymore? That's the atmosphere of Bimini Bahamas. The people are beautiful. They are not those pushy kind of people. Like they're really laid back. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about being on the beach and having someone wanting to sell you anything or harassing you to do this or do that. You don't have any of that. Right. Very low key, very island vibes. And like we were there, we just said, we just say that Bim Bimini is a whole vibe. It's a whole vibe. And you gotta understand what we are talking about that when you go, it's like the words, it's like, it's hard to find right. the words to It's like paradise. To describe it, man. But it's, yeah, it's a whole vibe. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's like the atmosphere sets itself yes. and you don't have to do much right. to enjoy yourself there. Yes. All right, as promised, I said, we're gonna talk about our experience. We went there, mm -hmm. which, off the gate, we had an awesome time. It was amazing. It was easy <laughs> to get there when we got there. Like we said, the beach was a whole vibe. It was. Um, the drink, the free drink was good. It was good. And then we also went to the bar and we also got some drinks at the bar. They had what is called the Tasty Lynette. <laughs> That joint was the bomb. Can you imagine having a Tasty Lynette on your birthday? I was yeah. there on my birthday. Yep. <laughs> they sang happy birthday to me. Yeah. Hey. 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 <laughs> like it was it was a mood. Yes. And the water. Yeah. That water felt all Amazing. kinds of good, y'all. I'm it's telling it. you. Yeah, it did. And it was hot that day too. And the water, the temperature was perfect. It was perfect. The sand is so soft. Yeah. Oh my God, it feels like baby powder. Yeah. Also, I went on the carnival, um, cause we was at the 360 beach and on carnival thing, a lot of people was complaining about the jellyfish. The jellyfish wasn't a problem there for us. Even though I got stung twice. <laughs> I, I got stung once on my back and one on my nipple. I guess he wanted to taste my nipples that day and see how they were, but he got a taste. 
But as for me, jellyfish was not a deal breaker because where I'm You're from- in the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> and then also where I'm from, uh, going to the beach, you know jellyfish are gonna be there. And the way the water looks where you can't even see nothing in the bottom, and you think I'm gonna go to Bimini and not and allow jellyfish to stop me from getting in the water. Yeah, and it wasn't like for me. Yeah, nah. and, and the I mean and one brushed up against me and, and it kind of just felt like you know how you've had, had like a gnat like just go mm. it was kind of like, oh, what the heck was that? It wasn't like this, oh, I have to go and bury myself in the sand kind of sting, but it was. Well, I'm, well, I'm a little dramatic. I, I didn't bury myself, but I did wipe the sand on, you know, cause that do help. <laughs> but it wasn't a bad sting. It didn't hurt like crazy right. way where it was unbearable. And it wasn't consistent. But yeah, so they are jellyfish there. And think about it, if you used to go into the beach, you already used to jellyfish. You're, you're so, used to this, it yeah, comes so with the you, turf. Yeah. Some of you all may ask like, do they have food on the island? They do have at the 360 beach that we were at and at the one next door to, which was considered Paradise Beach. Let me kind of explain how the beach thing works. Of course, it's this long stretch of beach property. So you have different sections for different excursions. Yeah. So each one is kind of sectioned off. You can kind of flow between the two, but not really. Yeah. <laughs> because they will watch to see which one you came from and whether or not you're permitted at the other one. Or by the color of the band. Or the color of the band that you have on. So just know that all of them are kind of the same. Some with a little bit more amenities than others. Some had a pool. Yeah. Some of them had where you can get into the hot tubs and things like that. I just wanted the beach. Yeah. That's all I wanted. Yeah. But with that said, you are able to purchase food on the island. Now granted, when we went, I think we probably were maybe like, maybe that third sailing that was admitted into Bimini Bahamas and they weren't ready. Nah. They were not ready for the crowd that that cruise ship brought in. Yeah. And the lady told me straight up because I wanted to order some yeah, food. She yeah. said, you're probably not going to get this food for yeah. another hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or if you get it at all by the time y'all leave. Right. Yeah. So it, the service was really slow. Even like drink service was a little slow. Mm -hmm. But you're on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> And I, and I say they did, before it only been a few um, sailors that came there, they did I really say they, well. did, they did an excellent job. Attitude, yeah. one point. Yes. That makes a difference. And the chairs and the umbrellas was perfect, man. It was. You know, so once you got out of the water and you need some time to relax because we wore ourselves out the water. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> yes. And also what we did, um, you can see we got this black accordion water bottle. So what we did was, because we bought the drink package, but we bought also bought drinks in Bimini. We brought right. that so we could save a little bit of money. So what we did, we went to the bar and we got eight shots of the Appleton rum. And we took those shots and we mixed it with guava juice and it was good. So and limes. We got limes from the blue iguana. The blue iguana. Yep. And so what we did was y'all saw we had our tumblers that um Dre and Shan made us. So that's what we were drinking out on the beach. So you like shake, so, shake, yeah. shake, pour. <laughs> so when you <laughs> so when you saw that wave hit me in the vlog I was drunk as hell. So that's why <laughs> me and the liquor got hit by the way we, when we fell on the shore. <laughs> but he, he fell in slow motion. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, check out this video right here when we did go to Bimini last year in August so you can get a further insight on whether this port is for you or not. We catch you in the next video. Peace. Stay with it. Go to Bimini, y'all. Yeah. <laughs>